Good morning, everyone. My name is Annika Dzurik, and I'm super thankful for this opportunity that God has given to me to share with you all his truth. And today I'm going to be sharing with you all the story of the woman at the well, which is found in John chapter 4. And this story starts off with Jesus meeting a Samaritan woman at a well. And Jesus is a Jew, and the woman is a Samaritan. And back then, these two people, they just, they didn't get along. And this woman is shocked when Jesus asks her for a drink. He says, will you give me a drink? And she says, you are a Jew and I'm a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? And Jesus says, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked me. And Jesus continues to tell her that what he has to offer her is so much greater than what's in that well. The water that she wants to bring up, the water that she has come there for, really, she should be searching for what's in Jesus, the one at the well. And Jesus continues to tell her that he knows everything about her. He knows that she not only has five husbands, but there's a man at home that who isn't her husband. And he continues to tell her that her life will never be satisfied with the water that she wants to draw up. The water that she draws up, she's going to come back thirsty over and over again and is going to continue to draw up water that will never satisfy. And Jesus tells her, I have living water for you. I have living water that will satisfy. You will no longer thirsty again. Not just that, but you'll be fully satisfied in life. He says, everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water that I give him will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Jesus goes on to say in verse 23, Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. And in this moment, Jesus is giving this woman an opportunity, an opportunity to have a purpose that the water that she is continuing to draw up, that she no longer has to turn to that, that Jesus has an identity and a purpose for her life. It goes on to say in verse 27 that just then his disciples returned and were surprised to find him talking with a woman. But no one asked, what do you want or what are you talking with her? Then leaving her water jar, the woman went back to the town and said to the people, come see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Christ? And right here is the part that we always skip over. This is the part that we just say, oh, she went on, she continued with her life, she brought others to Jesus. But it's so much more than that. And it's so much more personal than that because she sees the identity. She sees the moment that Jesus had for her to receive a purpose. Then leaving her water jar, then leaving her water jar, then leaving the old life, then leaving the old identity, the very thing that she would return to that well over and over again to try and satisfy herself with this water that she would thirst from again. It would never satisfy her. Then leaving her water jar, she left it, the old life, the old identity, the old purpose, for there was none. There was no purpose in that old life. And then she went and told others. And that's what's so powerful about this is that First, she had to seize the opportunity. First, it had to be so personal to her that she would leave that old life behind before she could go on and continue to share the light that Jesus offered her.